Hello everybody, my name is Bubba HD and welcome back to some Dead Space 3. Last time we left off, uh, what even happened? Uh, um, Scientology, Unitology people tried to kill me. Carver's an asshole. I want to punch him in his stupid face. Let's make it to the bridge. I'm pretty sure that's where I was told to go, was the bridge. I could be wrong, might be somewhere else. But I'm going the only way you can go in this game is... Whichever way it tells you, I don't know what I'm talking about anymore. I just woke up. Alright. Oh, there's the mission. Find Ellie. She's our ex-girlfriend. There is something down here. Uh, I don't know if it's worth it to take the time to go over and grab it. I think it's just a artifact and maybe like a health kit. Maybe? Something like that. It's really long and annoying. Usually there'd be a node here, but uh, a little ammo, which I will. Okay, I can only do it once. And then the artifact, yeah. Which is another, yeah, just normal artifact. So the artifacts are just like badges, I think, from different things. I don't really know what I'm talking about. I haven't played this game in so long. Either way, let's just go get to what's-his-face. I already forgot his name because I don't give a crap about him. Norton, that's it. Robert Norton, I think? Norton Antivirus? I would have shit myself if that was Norton Antivirus. It's my radon software updates. Alright, people, we're going in blind. So stay tight on that exit vector. Rosen, count it out. Exit beacon locked. De-shocking in... Five, four, three, two, one. Hell is that? That looks pretty. Moon. Half destroyed moon. Left of one. Rosen, I see it. I mean, if you didn't see it, we would have problems. More than just running into it. Mainly that our person that's flying the ship is an idiot. Junkyard. More like a graveyard. Sign of Ellie's ship. I'm reading several transponders, but none of them are ours. According to the registry, they're sovereign colonies warships. Are you serious? They'd be over 200 years old. Wait, wait. I'm getting something. It's an SOS coming from that ship dead ahead. The CMS Roanoke. It could be Ellie. Yeah, let's hope so. All right, Rosen, close to 500 clicks. Aye, right, sir. Those lights. Beacons? Hang on. Eh, not really. No. Frozen, get us out of here. Collision Yeah, nope, we're surrounded by mines. Everything has gone to shit. Let's get the F out of here. For some reason, I went left instead of every, the following everyone else. Which apparently, Norton did too. The way I just came from. Alright, let's go get an EVA suit before this shit blows up and I'm stuck in the... The bowels of... What the hell am I trying to say? I don't know, I thought I was gonna say something cool about space, but then... I really forgot what I was gonna say. Either way. Yeah, you cannot heal right now. This is scripted, so you're supposed to lose the health you're losing. Also, I'm going to be a little quiet here just because I don't want to have to deal with audio levels. Oh, there's my EVA suit. When in reality, trying to get that over your clothes would be difficult as shit. Yeah, one more thing. Just need the helmet. Mere helmet. 
vacuum of space. That's what I wanted to say. See, your head doesn't instantly explode when you're out in a vacuum. Yeah, just scroll the boxes. I'm pretty okay. much full, anyways. I can see the room. Rosen, Mark, brace yourselves. Once I... oh, I'm not waiting for him to explain it. I'm just gonna do it. Now, just hold on for dear life, and we'll be fine. We'll be fine. Now, see, your problem was you let go. So these are the like automatic death things. If you touch anything, you will die. So I'm on normal. So I don't care, I'm just gonna hold down the speed button the entire way and go through it. When I was doing this on hardcore, it was like I was so panicky because anything I do wrong will kill me. So I was just kind of going slow the entire time, maybe a little bit... I'm an idiot. <laughs> maybe a little bit of speed every now and then. Um, but see, you die instantly if you touch anything. So I'm an idiot because I ran into it. Uh, so... I think, I don't know how many there are in the game, there's a couple of them, especially when you get into the end of the game, you have to go through one of them like four or five times, but either way, you have to be very careful on these, and on hardcore you're just panicking to shit. So the very last one of these, I died. I was at the very top like of the screen you can go, apparently off screen there is a piece of shrapnel and it killed me. And I was um, pretty salty because I didn't see what I got killed by, but I got killed and I was so sad because I was so close to the end. I was like literally like that was the last part and then it would have been like a boss fight and I would have been done. Jesus, let's not do that again. Can you yeah, make no, that no, cargo no. dock? Yeah, yeah, you think there's air on board? Ellie's SOS is coming from somewhere inside, so let's hope so. That would have been really awkward to try and grab spinning at that speed. I feel like he would have touched it and it would have ripped his arm off. In reality. Oh, but it's dead space, so there is no reality. There's no way to activate the cargo door. Also, they give you a lot of air to start the game. Usually it's like... I'll see if I Here's a minute of air, and then you can boot boost it up to like maybe three minutes of air. Now it's like here's 200 and 50, and you boof it, boof it, beef it up to like 500 or something. Looks like I'm the first person through here in a long time. Open the damn door. Yeah, these are these are the main doors in the thing. Well, that and the normal. Blue circle thing. Well, I mean, this is a blue circle thing as well, but you know what the hell I'm talking about. I hope you do, or else I'm gonna sound like an idiot. But they do like doing this, uh, like torque bar. So there's a heavy standard frame. It's a part. I think it's the frame. Yeah, the frame of the gun lets you know how many, uh, circuits you can put on it. Just open that up, let them in. I think I can go around now. We're working as fast as we can. Mark's really pale. I can't stop the bleeding. Shit. Hey, Isaac. Okay, meet me at the door. I can let you in from this side. I'm working on it. I'm working on it. Let me in the goddamn room. There we go. In we go. Isaac. Oh, yeah. I forgot that's a thing. This is a thing. Send me the coordinates. I'll go check it out. Here you go. So I'm pretty sure I can't make my gun yet. I'm... Uh, I got a Tesla core. I'm pretty sure I can't make my gun until I get the power on. Because that's always a thing. Yeah, I definitely can't. Which is really upsetting. Because I really wanted to make it. So here is an upgrade circuit. W plus one to reload. Yeah, I can't do it. Damn it. Oh, I can just turn it on now. Can we cut through it? Yeah, seconds. bitches. Just that did it. And there's a bench on the same circuit. Bench? There's all the parts lying around here. I bet I can make a better weapon than this one. Yeah, that's smart. Thing. Indeed, you can. Plasma cutter. Bunch of shit. So, yeah, I know how to. I know how to do this. Yeah, skip the tutorial. Get out of my life. So, first things first. 
this shitty thing. Um, it's gonna take me a minute. How the hell can I just... I think I need to put it away first. Okay, so here's the devil hands. And you get weapons. You just straight up get weapons. So that's a planet cracker. I think... I don't know the difference between this. Shit. Like, how do I switch weapons? Like, I don't think I know the difference between the constructed... Constructed weapon and the plasma and the weapon thing. Either way. Uh, that's one I'm going to be using. So let me troll low with this for a minute. So plasma core, tesla core. Plasma core. Stick with the plasma core. Rotating cuff. Yes. Compact elite frame. Uh, the only one that's even a little better is the MK2 overclocked compact frame. Uh, planet cracker tip. And then on the lower tip. Lower tool, put the Tesla core. Lower tip, put the default tip, I guess. Is that... Hmm. Flame guy. Uh, this is just a bunch of shenanigans. Dang it, I think I need a different tool. I think I need a different tool to put the actual tip I want. So, let me make a... Which one did, looks like a, ma a magnum? I think it's the telemetry spike. It was not the telemetry spike. Um, makes me a little bit upset. Maybe it was a plasma core? Let's try the military engine. Yeah. Yeah, this one. It's my revolver. That's what I wanted. Attachments, let's put on... Uh, there was just one for just straight up more damage. And then at the bottom, put on... Mm. Automatically picks up ammo, that's nice. And then the circuits, I can put on one for a reload. That's it. So this is the gun I always used for my hardcore playthrough. And my Z-Lot playthrough. I think I had to play it on Z-Lot. And then, I switch that weapon... Uh, so I don't need this, so I can dismantle it. And then I put on the... Evangelizer? I think I put on the... Let me just show off the devil horns, because I'm just going to finish this episode by doing this random crap. So this is my weapon I use. It's the normal plasma cutter, and then it's got a magnum at the bottom, which is a beautiful thing of art. Then you get this thing. And that's reload. That's reload. So it does actually use ammo. That's the funny thing. But bang, 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 pew, pew, pew. And then reload. This is, even though it looks stupid, that thing will just rip apart anything you aim it at. Which is a beautiful thing. So I want to put on the negotiator. And then dismantle the constructed weapon. Maybe dismantle that weapon a little later. This is the other weapon I'm using. It's got a lot less ammo because the first bullet, the charge shotgun kind of thing, and then the bottom one is a big line rack. I pretty much won't be using these weapons because when I make this weapon, it's godly and I love it. Uh, let me actually continue on a little bit, see if I can get to a checkpoint, just so I know I, I'm not going to have to remake this gun. And I'm only 14 and 40 minutes in. I have to take off like 30 seconds or so, so I can still go on. But as long as I made this weapon, I'm happy. So I like this weapon. I love that magnum on the bottom of it. It's so strong. Especially early in the game. But uh, to get the MK2 overclocked stuff, I think you have to beat it on... There's three different modes. There's like survival, there's the basic... You're only allowed using basic weapons kind of thing. And now we get back into normal necromorphs. So, Magnum is beautiful. Takes a couple shots with the uh, plasma cutter. But with the Magnum, it's just one heavy shot. What is it? What's going on? I just got jumped by what... What? No one can survive down here that long. They didn't survive. They, got they didn't. 
What? Okay, what do we do? You keep your weapon ready and you stay the hell away from the ventilation ducts. If they get close, shoot for the limbs. You got that? I said you got that! Yeah, okay, okay. I was hoping that would just take off his head, but uh, I was wrong. The bad thing is about the Magnum. Uh, first off, it's kind of slow to shoot, like one after another. Okay, and second, it has, I think like a, like a 1.2, maybe 1.4 ammo to the normal of the plasma cutter. So it does take like maybe one and a half bullets per, like one magnum bullets, like one and a half or a little more, a little under to the plasma cutter. I'm really bad at explaining things. Hello. Come on, buddies. Get down. So I will use the magnum as a last resort kind of thing. Or if there's too many things, I just need to pop one. And most of the time, that'll kill it. Not kill it, but do a lot of damage to it. Hey, I, don't, I don't have to worry about picking up ammo. I have to worry about picking up everything else as well. So here's another circuit. A rate of fire one. That one's good for my magnum. Because you can put them on the upper tip or the lower tip of the gun. So either my plasma cutter. Because right now my plasma cutter has the reload. But the reload is for everything. That one doesn't matter. Uh, the rate of fire will only go to one of them. I'm pretty sure. So I'm going to put it on the lower tip. Oh, there we go. Progress saving. So, if you guys did enjoy this episode, uh, even though like two minutes of it were just me making a gun, if you did enjoy it, please like, subscribe, comment, share with your friends. Uh, feedback would be really nice. Uh, two things down below. You should follow us by Twitter, my Twitch. Twitter will notify you anytime a video is live or I go live on Twitch. And Twitch, I'm not on often, but if you happen to see me online, come say hi, chill out, and I will see you guys tomorrow with another episode of maybe because it's Saturday. I don't know. I'm gonna try and make an episode tomorrow uh, for Saturday. Yeah, whatever. Peace out.